What's going on Zap Pack? Welcome back and if you're new here, a big hello to you. Be sure to press that big shiny red button and join the Zap Pack today. Now, today's video, ladies and gentlemen, I have some recommendations for you. Some Disney recommendations. Now, for Christmas, I got given four board games that I've played and I love. So, what I'm going to do is going to show you one each by bit, uh, show you, uh, I'll give you a brief overview of, of the gameplay mechanics, and what I'll do is I'll also leave the links down below, in case you want to go and check them out, I'll leave the Amazon links down below in case you want to go and check them out, possibly purchase them, I don't know, maybe, it's up to you, but anyhow, I'm just going to recommend them, tell you what my experience is with them, and yeah. Let's get right into it. So, get that intro rolling, please. The first one that we have here is called... is by Vlada Sh Shavatil. I'm probably completely butchering the, that. that. Um, and it's called Code Names Disney Family Edition. Now, basically, what you do is you have a grid of cards on the back, and you, one of your team members, has to uh, announce a clue. Nothing too obvious, nothing too obscure, so you're not going to get it. Um, but what you do is you're one um, in between your two teams. Two of you are playing the game out of the teams, like finding the clues, and two of you from either, one of you from either team is giving the clues for your uh, teammate. So, yeah, it, it's it's a good game. It's a good game. It's tricky to get the hang of. Tricky to get the hang of at the beginning because obviously you've got to find the right clues and you've got to like make sure that you're the teammate doesn't get all of them and try and you know guess which one's theirs uh snap please but here on the box you can see this is like a taskmaster grid and this basically gives the answer so the, the one person that's using this is basically trying to give the information to them so it, it's pretty it's a pretty cool game Pretty cool game. I do really enjoy it. It's a really fun game. The next one we're going to move on to is called Color Brain. And again, this is a Disney edition one and a game all about guessing the colors of things. Now, some of them are very obscure. Like some things you really need to look at the movies and your Disney knowledge of colors is very much like tested in this game. It's it's cool. I, I like it. I like it. So you basically have 11 colour cards in your hand and, they ask, and someone has to answer or ask you the questions. Uh, it goes around in like a, like a rotation. I need to figure out which ones to play and hope the others slip up to win the point. So, so first one to 10 points and each one is one point and if nobody gets it right then it moves on to two points and if no one gets it right it moves on to three and so on and so forth you know until you get to ten points there's a lot of a lot of um, cards in there some that even got me and the, a few of our family members I should actually mention that the ages for these these two games are eight and up um, and this one can be played two to eight players plus the code names one two to eight players plus for this and this is 2 to 12 players, and it is 8 plus. This, um, this codenames one is done by USA Opoly. Um, and this other one is by Big Potato Games. Um, so yeah, those are the two family ones uh, that everyone can join in with. Um, you know, a little bit older of the children, things like that, you know, turn taking and everything. Yeah, they are very, very good games. I highly recommend them. These next two are adult games now. Um, adult-related games that children really shouldn't be playing. 
because they, they might scar them for life. Now, this one here is Cards Against Disney. Now, this game here is from 17 plus, uh, 4 to 20 players, 30 to 90 minutes of game time. And if you've ever played Cards Against Humanity, you know what this, this entails. It is pretty much that, just a Disney version. It is very right in your face with, you know, the crude humour and the, the, the adult humour and the adult parts and the adult, you know, all of that fun stuff. All of that fun stuff. It is a very good game. I absolutely love this. I really, really do. Very, very fun. More fun with more people, you know, with all the amount of answers and things like that. Um, I highly recommend this. I highly recommend this. I really, really do. I highly recommend them all, to be quite honest. I really, really do. And the last one, the last game we have here is Monopoly. Now, yes, it's just a regular Monopoly, but on the front is my favourite Marvel character and you if, you if you know me well enough you know who it is but if you don't and welcome to Monopoly Deadpool now this game is just a standard Monopoly game um, it is recommended for 16 plus because of the images and the I'm guessing the wording and things like that. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm guessing that's why. Deadpool Monopoly. Absolutely fantastic. Deadpool again is like my favourite character from you know the whole the, the whole Marvel series, the whole Marvel franchise. And I can't recommend it enough. If you love Deadpool's humour, this Monopoly game is for you. I I'm, I'm can't say any more. Like them two games, those two, you know, 16 plus games are just fabulous. They really, really are. But anyhow. That's all I've got for you today. I've saw my recommendations. So I do thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you didn't like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below any other Disney games that you recommend for me. Like I say, all of these will be down in the description down below. So you can go and check them out for yourself if you want to potentially buy them as well. Uh, but any, any recommendations that you guys recommend, I'll happily give it a go. Whether it be video games or board games or anything like that, more than happy to do that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you've not done so already, be sure to press that big shiny red button and join the Zap Pack today. You get new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yes, Sunday. I have started making my way into a new day for the weekly vlogs it is going to be a sunday uh completely unedited vlogs uh, the only vlog that the only the only time it will be edited is when i just need to piece things together uh, so it's just my thoughts on the week how i'm feeling a little bit of a a little bit of a time to just take off the mask and just be good old zach and just let you talk and things like that. Let me let me let me know your thoughts and things like that. But anyhow, yeah. Excited to start that. We'll be starting very soon. Potentially in the next couple of weeks. Um <clears throat> going towards the end of January, beginning of February, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. It might be a little bit sooner. Um but yeah. And the podcast will be uploaded every Monday. So be sure to go and check that out. On all the places you can listen to podcasts. I have left the, uh, excuse me. I have left the Spotify playlist down below for you, so you can go and check it out on Spotify. Zach talks things. 
with my very awesome guest so far and just me talking as well um but yeah i thank you all so much for watching i hope you do enjoy and i'll see you all in the next video until then ladies and gentlemen stay classy zap pack <laughs>